Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. In this video, I'm going to give a quick overview of the Smartsheet for Outlook add-in. So what's this? It is how you can have an add-in in your Outlook email and use it to move items directly into Smartsheet because clearly you love doing all your work in Smartsheet. So um, you get this by going to your add-ins and in my case, I've got these three dots on a Mac and get add-in. And again, I've got access to add these in. You might not have depending on your um, admin settings and you search for Smartsheet for Outlook and here you have it. These are the various items down here. So just move it down and this is what it's about. So you find it and then you add it in. In my case, it's already added in. So I'm going to close that off. And if I want to use it, I just press this Smartsheet for Outlook and it fires it up. So it fires it up. And as it goes in, you can see it's looking at my account, Richard Productive. I can sign out. Um, obviously, I clearly already signed in to do this demo. Um, and it brings up and it says, well, do you want to get your favorites, your sheets, or your workspaces? So I can open these up and search for the various items. But in this case, I actually know which sheet I want to use. And in this case, this sheet which I want to use is this one here. So I just go back in and search for it. I'm going to paste the name in and Smartsheet for Outlook add-on demo. So I click on that and it shows me what rows I already have in the sheet. Um, so I can either add this directly to a row in a sheet. So a great way if you've got attachments that you want to add to existing items there, or I can add a new row. So in this case, I'm going to add a new row. What it does is it takes the title of the email. So you can see the forward monthly financials and I can change this to be whatever I want. So I'm going to say it's October financials, which it is. And then the comment, this will create a comment in the comments column um, on that bit. So I don't actually want to comment in this case. I've got the attachment, but what I do want to do is put something information here. So I'm going to put submitted um, by Dom F um, on this bit. And I'm going to put the status is in progress in this case. These are system generated columns and modified, modified by. Um, comment we don't want to use in this case and here's the attachment which I can have or not. So if I save it then it goes in and I've got a little notification saying it's there, Smartsheet row saved. Um, so if I go across here and you can see that's just refreshing and in it goes. October financials submitted by Dom F and if I go in on this side I want to see the attachments you can see by row then there's the financials which has just been added in. So again, really simple on that side. If I just do one other example for you, this one's got two attachments and it's also got a number of things at the bottom of the email. So again, I'm going to add this in. It's going to search for the sheet. I'm going to tell it which sheet to find just to accelerate the demo. It's going to find that sheet. You can see October financials has already been added in. Again, I want to add a new row in this case. So I'm going to add the row. And here what you can see is it's got all the attachments. So because this one's got two attachments that I want to keep, but I don't want these little images which are, again, showing up in my email bit. So I'm going to get rid of those bits. I'm going to get rid of all the comments here as well. So let's just go and delete all the comments, or rather the content of the email, because I don't need that in this case. And I'm going to call this the resource management template set. and. What else I want to say here, comments is, um, so Rich requested we keep these handy, for example. Okay, status is complete in this case and no comment needed. I've already got rid of those. Save it. Off we go. That's saved into there. Go back to the sheet and you'll see this is now added in, refresh. And it should be, you can see the attachments that are there as well. So again, really useful on that bit in terms of the way of how you can quickly move items from your email without having to leave your email and you've got it in your Smartsheet. So trust that's useful. Plenty more tips and tricks on Smartsheet to follow in due course. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.